Good day, class. Welcome to TLE8, Dressmaking Quarter 3, Week 3. I'm Mary Jane Biermitano, your teacher in TLE. In this lesson, you will learn the metric conversion chart for fabric, fabric and sewing, and how to estimate the appropriate quantities of materials to be used in making your project. Simple calculation is easy using the mathematical application. Accurate measurement of body parts and length and width of materials and the cost needed to create apparel is very important. So this is the process in which the four fundamental operations will be used. What are the four fundamental operations? This is the multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. This is the metric conversion chart for fabric and sewing. So wherein one fourth inch is equal to 0.25 centimeter and one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters, one yard is equal to 0.9144 meters, one yard is equal to 36 inches. This conversion will be used to calculate the width of the fabric. Let's start with this example. How many inches are there in 100 centimeters width of fabric? Our given is one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeter. The width of the fabric is 100 centimeter. And the equivalent of an inch to centimeter is 2.54 centimeter. So to calculate the 100 centimeter two inches, Okay, we must divide it by 2.4 centimeter, and the answer is 39.37 inches. That is the conversion from centimeter to inch. Now let's calculate okay, the inch to centimeter. Okay, so how many centimeters are there in 60 inches length of fabric? So given we have one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeter. The length of the fabric is 60 inches. Equivalent of a centimeter to an inch is equal to 2.54 centimeter. Now, to calculate the 60 inches to centimeters, we must multiply it by 2.54 centimeter. And the answer is 152.4 centimeter. In estimating, we must know the size and the number of product we made. And the size of the cloth, if it is 36 inches, 45 inches, or 60 inches width. For example, an organizer measuring 12 inches by 30 inches with three patch pockets of different designs for one yard of 45 inches width uh, using kacha cloth, you can make two organizers. So for one organizer, you can use one half yard kacha with a unit price of 60 pesos since you'll be using one half yard. So the total cost is 30 pesos. You also need one fourth manila paper that is seven pesos per, per unit price. Since you'll be using one fourth, so we'll divide it by four and uh, the estimated total cost is two pesos. You also need one spool thread small, and that unit price is five pesos. So the total cost is five pesos. Now you need to add, okay, the total cost of the materials 30 plus two plus five is equal to 37. And now 37 pesos is the total cost of one project or uh, organizer. Next. The materials estimated and the cost of 12 products to be produced. Okay, this is the example wherein you need uh, 12 yards of kacha and uh, per yard that costs 60 pesos. So uh, 60 multiplied by 12 is 720. You need three pieces manila paper and uh, the price per manila paper is 7 pesos. Okay, for three manila paper, so the cost of one manila paper is seven pesos. So seven multiplied by three, you'll get 21. And you also need one spool big thread and that costs 35 pesos. So the total cost for thread is 35 pesos. You just need to add 720 
21 and 35, and the total is 776 pesos for the 12 product. In planning a project, it is very important to estimate the quantity of materials to be used and the costs involved. Doing estimates will help you make the right decision so that you won't be able to waste your effort, your money, and your time. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Bye.